In this video, I'm going to show you how to install ViewScan on Windows 7, and I'm going to show you how to scan your first document with ViewScan. You may be using a different version of Windows, so the installation process might be slightly different, but once you start using ViewScan, it will work the same way. After you download ViewScan, your browser may give you an option to save or run ViewScan now. Either option will work, but it's preferable to run it now. This will start the installation process. I've already downloaded ViewScan and put the installation file on the desktop. You may be starting it from your browser or from your downloads folder. You may be asked if you want to allow ViewScan to make changes to this computer. Press yes. Windows may then ask if you want to install a device driver. This will allow you to scan from other applications. This won't conflict with any drivers you already have including ones from your scanner's manufacturer. Press Install to install the device driver and continue the installation process. When you first open ViewScan, it will show a tip of the day. Press Close to close the tip of the day and start ViewScan. Make sure you have a scanner plugged in and turned on before you open ViewScan. If you don't have it turned on before you start, Restart ViewScan once you have it turned on. I'm going to show you how to scan a document using a flatbed scanner. You might have a different type of scanner, like a film scanner or a scanner with an automatic document feeder. The process will be similar on those scanners, but slightly different. Put a document on the flatbed of the scanner, then press the Scan button in ViewScan. It will then take a few seconds to scan your document. If you would like to add another page to the document you just scanned, press the Scan Plus button. If you're done scanning your document, you can either scan a new document by pressing the Scan button, or view the document you just scanned by pressing the View button. Your document is saved automatically, so you don't need to press the View button, but you can find it manually too. After you press the View button, ViewScan will open the document you just scanned using the default application for opening PDFs, which in most cases will be the Adobe Acrobat Reader. If you don't have a PDF reader installed, you can download one for free from Adobe. Thanks for watching this video, and thanks for downloading ViewScan.